All right, everybody, we are going to be doing a composite today, and I'm going to upload the files so that you guys can do it yourself. So in After Effects, I have this project. I'm just going to play it through so you can see what it looks like. So you see me here walking through this forest. And you see me disappear around the corner around that bush. Let it play through one more time. All right, great. So let me show you what is happening here. So first thing is first, I have these two files, right? Or two layers. You see four layers here, but really and truly only two are active. So let's show you what's happening here. So this is the actual footage that I recorded in my backyard. Right? So that's the actual backyard. I've just turned off the mask so that you can see what it actually looks like. Great. And below this, this is the forest that I composite, composited into the shot. Right? And it's just a picture of a forest. And once I've combined the two and uh, let me just switch this back on. Once I've combined the two, I end up with this walk in the forest. All right, so how exactly did I do this? All right, simply, simple, we're gonna, I'm going to start this whole process over from scratch. And I'm gonna just start by deleting the mask, right? So we have nothing so far. And this is a very simple composite. I decided to keep it simple just so that you guys can follow along easily. So the first thing to do is make sure you have the video selected, right? Once you have the video selected and you have your forest below that video, I'm going to now take the pen tool, shortcut is G, and I'm going to start drawing. I'm going to start drawing a mask. But here's a key thing: the mask has to pretty much follow the path I'm walking along. Right? So I'm going to just curve this a little bit here. Curve that a little bit here. And I'm going to just keep drawing and following around. until I'm satisfied with what I have. And then I'm going to close the loop here. And so now we have this path. So all it's doing is it's basically creating a mask around the layer on top, which is the video, and revealing the background. Now, clearly, I'm going to just click off of this for a moment so you can see it without the mask. It's not without the mask, sorry, without this, the mask path. So as you can see, this does not look very realistic, right? Because the edges are hard. The way to sell this technique is to, and to, to activate the feathering. Basically what you want is for the ground path I'm walking on to blend in with the background. And we do that by feathering, which basically soften, softens the edges. Now, another thing that really sells this is the fact that I've chosen a background that has a similar lighting, right? Similar lighting and similar color to the video that I took. So that way, the shadows that occur in my video match up with what you would expect from the trees showing. This is a part of what I said last class in trying to make sure that you're, you, you make your, you, you shoot your videos in such a way to make your composites easier. So let's go to feathering. So I'm going to open, expand the video section. Let me close that down. Go to the mask. And then we see here mask feather. So I'm going to bring this up to about 68, thereabout. 
we could probably even go up to 70. Let's go up to 70. Right? And now I'm going to click off of this. Now you see it's blending a lot better. It actually looks like it's a part of the scene. Right? Now, some of the giveaways, though, is that you can see here, if we zoom in closely, some of this tree disappears. Right? And if we play it through, let's play it through. So we still disappear around the corner. And why the disappearing around the corner happens is because, again, because of that feathering. Because of the feathering, it right where the feathering occurs is a little bit transparent, so it makes it appear as if I'm passing behind the trees, right? Because I'm stepping out of the mask. Right. So that 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 ended up being a very nice transition and really sells this 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 um this composite. Well, let's go back up to the video. And I'm going to go to the mask path. So some of the things I'm going to look at here is I'm going to just use a selection tool. So I could start adjusting this to say, hey, how can I adjust this so that I can get, you know, a better mask so this tree can be masked properly. Now, the problem is if I pull this in too close, as I, if I walk too close, my hand starts to disappear. I don't want that. So I would rather pull this out far enough away from the hand so that, you know, I remain solid in this image. And once I know, okay, I'm staying solid, what I'm going to do now is instead of shaping the mask in this particular case, I'm going to move the background. I'm going to shift it a little to the right. Okay. I'm going to work with that. So let's see what this looks like. All right, that's not too bad. But we're still getting some disappearance of the tree. So let's go back up to the mask path and see. I'm going to move this point down here because this point will allow me to change the, what you call it, the direction of this line. Oops. We click off of it so we get these dots instead of the square shape. And we're going to pull this handle a little bit more out. We turn this a little bit in. Take this in just a tad. I'm going to bring this down. All right, so that's not bad. So now we have, let me just come over here. Yeah. So now we have all of our tree in the shot. Let me just click somewhere else. So this is a lot more, you know, realistic now. So let me just stretch this down a bit so we can see it play out. So now you see we have this composite. It looks like I'm in a forest and it's believable. This looks like a trail in the forest and because of the feathering, the grass looks like it's kind of, you know, stopped growing at the edges of this path. And we can sell this even better by adding some, you know, nature sounds, which we'll do in a little bit. But I just wanted to show you this. The next thing is you might see these two other layers. And basically what I did was I added some layers that would give me a kind of nighttime effect. It's a little bit too dark, so I'm going to have to play with it some more. Right? I have to play with it some more, but you get this night effect, which even sells this location even more. I did another one using a spotlight. The only thing I don't like about this one is that a little too much green bleeds out, so and it feels like a portal with how heavy this vignetting is, but it does give you some good clarity. So this gives me some good ideas as to how to approach this day for night look. Yeah, so pretty much that is it. I, I'm going to put the files up on Orbele, and I want you guys to try it out. Um, I'm going to do another video talking about the adjustment layer and how we can do that day for night or get different colored effects.